Hey guys, here we are, 1974. We're starting a church and we're at the very Quonset hut where it all started. We started here with 10 teenagers. This is where Monterey intersects into Nile Street. I'll never forget. I mean, the first Sunday I was late for service, we were getting chairs. We had bar stools, patio chairs, 10 teenagers and me wet behind the ears. All we knew is that we had just discovered God. I'd got saved two or three years earlier, and I was excited about Bible prophecy. I, I was excited about deliverances. I actually learned that I could deliver people from demonic spirits. It was a crazy world. Now, Bakersfield then was probably, I don't know, I haven't looked at statistics, but probably around 100,000 in population. It wasn't very big. And so we started right here on Sunday morning in front of this Quonset hut. I get chill bumps. If I didn't have my jacket on, you could see them. I'd stand out here and shake hands with these 10 or 12 teenagers who grew to be 20 teenagers and then 25 and then 30. Soon people were standing around the entrance trying to get in because we knew God. Now, now mind you, in those days, I had never heard of anybody pioneering a church. Today, a lot of people do it. I thought you had to go to seminary. This was unheard of, but God gave me a vision a few weeks earlier and showed me this building and showed me hanging a sign out here. And he said to me, the only vision I've ever had in my life, he said, go and start a church for me in Bakersfield. And we did it 40 some years ago. We're still here, grown into a mega church, one of the fastest growing churches in America a few years back and all because God was faithful to his word. Again, if you can imagine Sunday morning here, the cars come in, they park here, mostly all teenagers, if not all teenagers. My mother and father thought I was crazy. My family thought I was crazy. And yet today, I, with pride, I say that my sister and older brother both are members of our church. But my dad said, you had a good job with a supermarket. Why'd you give it up to do this? And I wasn't full-time at first. I was still working and doing this. Full-time came later. But anyway, here we are, Quonset Hut. We knew three songs, wrote them out on cardboard. I led worship. We had a nursery, a little room in the back of this Quonset Hut that would hold probably four children. And we had a curtain separating the nursery from the auditorium. Again, some people were sitting down real low on patio stools or patio benches. Others were sitting up high on, on, on bar stools. Some were in recliners. Whatever we could get, we took. And so this is where the vision started. And I am so excited to go back and have these memories again.